Hello. Today I'm going to examine two more fraudulent elements of the English language that we are taught in school. One of which is the word go. Google defines go as move from one place or point to another. Move from one place or point to another. Move from one place or point to another. Take it as you wish. Google assumes that you know what they mean. Go is preterit tense, which, when you look this up in the Webster's Dictionary, 1828, it clearly says preterit is past. So go is preterit tense, i.e. past tense. They also say it's perfect tense. And that's definitely a misnomer, as you will see. It comes from the root word gan, which is Old English, which means walk, happen, advance. Other meanings, earlier meanings from this same root, also could be cease to exist, to appear, to be sold, to be known, which are all implying a future time. So go... It's a preterit tense, past tense, with future time definitions. Which brings me to the ING. In the English language, we are taught that you can put ING as a suffix on a noun, I'm sorry, on a verb, and make it a noun, a gerund noun. So we have go, which is past tense and put the ing on it, supposedly makes it present tense. So we have the sentence, I'm going to go. Kind of similar to I'm running to run, or I'm talking to talk. So you have go, which is past, ing, which is present. Then you have to, which is future. Now you have go, which is past, so you're covering all the time traveling bases in that sentence. ING is present tense, but we have future, and we have past. What does this mean? Go is a ridiculous stream of contradictions. I will leave links in the description below the video to all the sources that I use to find this, and you can find them for yourself. We are taught this in school from a very early age, that we can modify the language, we can modify a verb and change it into a noun, and it's so confusing. This word is an oxymoron, and it's got to go. <laughs> Pun intended. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this or anything else, feel free to contact me at the email address included in the description below the video. I operate in the private and the confidential. Thanks again for watching.